Part 6, Working on Graph Paper. You will find this on page 145 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook, Y equals MX plus C to success. Working on graph paper with more complicated scales. Let's look at an example. Using 2 cm to represent 1 unit on the x-axis and 2 cm to represent 5 units on the y-axis. Okay. So let's just underline the important parts. Let's start with the x-axis. So using 2 cm to represent 1 unit on the x-axis. Okay. So if you look, if you count, 5 small blocks will be exactly 1 cm. Okay. You can use your ruler. Take a normal graph paper. Measure five small blocks and see if you get one centimeter. So that will be one centimeter. So ten small blocks will be two centimeter. So two centimeter and then I must write one. Then another two centimeters will be two. Another two centimeters will be three. And I do exactly the same to that side. Okay. Now, if I must work out the scale of the x-axis, I take the first unit and that is one. And then I count the amount of small blocks. And in this case, it will be 10. 5 plus 5, that will be 10. And then I divide. So I say 1 divided by 10, that's 0 0.1. What does it mean? For every small block, I will count in multiples of 0 0.1. So 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, one and I do exactly the same to the negative side. So negative zero point one, negative zero point two, negative zero point three. Okay. So basically that is how I work out the scale. But if I do now, let's do the other one. Okay. So in this case, now they say two centimeters to represent five units on the y axis. Okay. So let's count again. So 2 centimeters, so 5 small blocks is 1. 10 small blocks will be 2 centimeters. And that must represent 5 units. Okay. So the next one, will 2 centimeters will be 10. 2 centimeters will be 15. Okay. So 2 centimeters represent 5 units on the y-axis. Now, if I take the first unit, which is 5, I count the amount of small blocks, that's 10. So 5 divided by 10 that's 0 0.5 per block. What does it mean? The f I must count in multiples of 0 0.5. So that's 0 0.5. Then it's 1. Then it's 1.5. Then it's 2. Then it's 2.5, 3. 3.5, 4. 4.5, 5. And I do exactly the same to the negative. Okay. I want you to do try now 9, number A and B. Take two different graph papers, mark that scale, x and y axis, mark that scale, x and y axis. You will need this kind of graph paper. You will not only use in mathematics, you can use it in physical science as well as in life science and biology. And then it is very important to mark the scales correctly. Okay, let's start with the first one. Use graph paper and complete the numbering on the axis. On each axis, fill in the values for each block on the grid. Draw an x-axis. Okay, now let's just unmark it again. So draw an x-axis from 0 to 5 using a scale of 2 centimeters to represent 1 unit. Okay, it's the next one. And the y-axis from negative 12 to 8 using a scale of 2 centimeters to represent four units. Okay. Now, let's start. Here's my graph paper. Let's start with the x-axis. Okay. Now, on the x-axis, they are saying to you, drawn from 0 to 5, so it will just be the positive, using a scale of 2 centimeters to represent one unit. Okay. So, let's start. Let's take blue. Okay. So, that is just meaning, say, for example, I'm starting there. There is zero. Okay, let's just get a pen. Zero. Then they are saying two cent that's one centimeter. That will be two centimeter. Okay. Let's just first 
make a line. And let's name it, that will be my X axis. Okay, so two centimeter must represent one unit. So that's one, then another two is two, three, and they tell me I must continue, let's just mark that one, until I have five. Okay, now let's just make it a little bit bigger if we're going to do the blocks. Okay, so now if I'm on the X axis, now look, the first unit is one. So take your unit. Count the amount of blocks. That's five plus five, that's ten blocks. What does it mean? It's one unit per block. Okay, oh, let me just do that scale correct. 0 0.1 unit per block. Because 1 divided by 10 is 0 0.1. So what does that mean? The first block will be 0 0.1. The second block will be 0 0.2. The third block, 0 0.3. The fourth one, 0 0.4. And there will be 0 0.5. Then if I continue, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1, 1 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1 1.3, 1 1.4, 1 1.5. Okay. And now, if I do this one, now this is my x-axis. Now let's go back and let's read again the y-axis. Let's just make it a little bit bigger. So, if I say the y-axis from negative 12 to 8, using a scale of 2 centimeters to represent 4 units. Okay, let's go back again. So, Two centimeters, okay, let's just take that, Thank green, okay, let's just first draw the line, okay, so it's two centimeters, remember that's one, that's going to be two, <coughs> and two centimeters will represent four, okay, so if I, as if I look at this, two to represent one unit, oh, no, two centimeters, Let's just go back. Two centimeter to represent. Let's just correct it. Okay. I just want to show you. It's uh, y axis this from a scale. Two centimeters to represent four units. It was correct. Okay. So two centimeters is going to represent four. Then another two will be eight. And if I go down, it's negative 4. And if I go down, negative 8. And if I go down, negative 12. Because it must go from negative 12 to 8. Okay. Now, let's, let's just move this a little bit. And let's just find on my y-axis. Okay. So first, my units. How, how much is my unit? My first unit is 4. And the amount of small blocks is 10. So if I divide that, that's 0 0.4 unit per block. What does it mean? I must count in multiples of 0 0.4. So if I look at this one, it will be 0 0.4. Then the next one will be 0 0.8. I, I'm just going to mark this in red. Okay. So that's 0 0.4, that's 0 0.8, that is going to be 1.2, that is going to be 1.6, so that's 1.6, and there is going to be 2. And then it's going to be 2.4, 2.8, 3.2, 3 3.6, and 4. And exactly the same to this side. Negative 0 0.4, negative 0 0.8, and so on. Okay, so that is how I will mark the scales. And if I mark the scales like that, I will always get marks for um, numbering the scales correctly. Okay, let's go back to the next one. Um, I'm just going to clean first to make space for the next one. Okay. So if I look at the next one, okay, I'm going to underline. This time I will use blue and red, it's better. 
So drawn x axis, which is underlined, from negative four to four using a scale of two centimeters to represent one unit. Let's first just do that. So it's two centimeters to represent one unit. Okay. So let's first and, and it must go um, they say it must go from negative 4 to 4. So in this case, it will be more here in the middle. I will now make it a little bit bigger. I just want to first make it smaller. That we can see where is the middle. Okay. So if I look more or less in the middle, I'm going to do it here. Okay. So because it's equal, negative 4 to 4. So let's put that one and we can make that one as 0. Now, Two centimeters, okay, to represent one unit, so one. Another two, two. Another two, three. Another two, four. And the same to this side. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. And that's my x-axis. Okay, now if I look, I'm going to make the other one read. Let's just first read it. Um, so if I read what they say here, let's just make it bigger. So on the y-axis from negative 1 to 1, using a scale of 4 centimeters to represent one unit. Wow. Okay. So, so by basically what they are saying here, let's just first get the line exactly there at middle, in the middle. And now they say it must be 4 centimeters. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And they are saying, oh, let's just make it upper. They are saying this is negative 1. Then 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's 1. And they want it just from 1 to negative 1. Okay. But now, again, the scales. Now, let's first start. Okay. Remember, this is my y-axis. Mm, let's just get the pen correct. This is my y-axis. Okay. Let's start with the scale of the x-axis. So, let's go back to blue. So, and let's just move it up. And now, we must find what is one block representing. So if it's on the x-axis, remember, take your first unit. That's your first unit. So put that unit. Let's just clean this. And okay, so this is your unit. And divide it by your blocks. Okay, blocks. So okay, so my first unit is 1 and my blocks is 10. So it's 0 0.1 unit per block. And what does it mean? So if I make it a little bit bigger, okay, I just want to show you here. Okay, so that is meaning my first block will be 0 0.1, my second block will be 0 0.2, my third block 0 0.3, my fourth block 0 0.4, there 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 7, 8, 9, 10, just like the previous example. But then I look at my y-axis. Take your first unit. What is your first unit? That's 1. So take that unit and divide it by the amount of blocks. So it's 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay. So if I say 1 divided by 20, I get 0 0.05 unit per block. What does it mean? It means that this is 0 0.05. This is 0 0.1. So sometimes it's better to mark two blocks. So that one will be 0 0.2. That one will be 0 0.3. That one will be 0 0.4. That one will be 0 0.5. That one will be 0 0.6. That one 0 0.7. That one 0 0.8 that one 0 0.9 but in between say for example i ask you that one there so it's zero let's just write it 0 0.85 if i'm asking you say for example that one there so it's 0 0.35 and exactly the same to this side so if i go down this is negative 0 0.05 but two blocks will be negative 0 0.1 and that's how I will work with the scales to plot the different points.